Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. And happy four year anniversary of the server that started it all, Megacraft. Well, technically Game Night started it all, and technically it's not even the anniversary anymore, it's a few days later. But really, who cares? So, what I thought I'd do for this four year anniversary is look back at all the eras of Megacraft. But you see, two years ago, I kind of did that already, and I wanted to do something different, so I made a tier list. And, you know, it's pretty much straightforward. It's what the title says. I'm going to be ranking every single Megacraft tier. Now, we have different tiers here. We have the best air in Megacraft history. We have amazing, mildly interesting, and that's pretty much the three good ones. And now we get out of the good ones, and we go to not very good, putrid, Worse than Quest to Save the World, which is a book I wrote if you don't know. It's, I did that like three years ago. It was so bad. And finally, so bad words can physically not describe it. So, that being said, let's get into it. We're just going to go in order. I've compiled a bunch of screenshots here. Each one represents uh, the era that they were taken in. So to start, we have... Uh, Game Night, the first Game Night. Now, I'm, I know this isn't Megacraft, but I feel like I have to include it. Game Night from August 2015 uh, all the way up through November 2015 because I'll cut it off there because then it would actually collide with the first era of Megacraft. So the Game Night era, the original Game Night era, is basically where I got my roots, where I started. I found it from obviously reading the Game Night books, and it was a great server, at least at that time anyway. If you want all the info on Game Night, go check out my uh, Game Night story video I did a year back. Anyway, so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about each era, just going to uh, talk briefly about it. But yeah, a bunch of stuff went down in the original Game Night era, so because of that, I'm putting it in the amazing category. Already off to a good start. But now we have the um, origin era of Megacraft. Now this is the first era officially on the server when it started. This is where, besides me, Liam Waffleman27, and a guy called Megabrine were the first players to join. The era lasted maybe like two weeks before uh, Wolfman decided, you know, great idea, create 10 worlds on a 512 megabytes worth of RAM of a server. It crashed, it went down, uh, I was pissed off at him for like a month. So, that being said, we all we really got done was we built spawn and we got game night players on. It was like the grand opening of the server. We never really got to do any more after that. So... Because it was so lackluster and not much was done, but it was the start of Megacraft, I'm going to have to put it in not very good. So now, we have a largely forgotten uh, part of Megacraft history. We have Waffle Man Surfer. Now, this happened between the big crash of the Origin Era and the Dome Era, which we'll get to later. But this was like January 2016. Uh, Liam slash Waffleman made a server, and I and Vicente, I think it was him, or maybe it was Sir Hermit Crab, I'm not sure. But we were admins on it, and I can't remember much from it. All I remember is I have this one screenshot of me sitting on a chair of sand with a, surrounded by a bunch of dead bushes. My most vivid memory besides that is when we made an airship and made it rain TNT. But besides that, the server itself was incredibly unstable, way more than mine. It was a free server, which is like a major red flag, because any good server you have to pay for. Um, it crashed a lot, you know, it was laggy a lot. Not very good. Actually, below not very good, because I can't remember anything from it besides this one image I have and the airship of TNT that's it so unfortunately I'm gonna have to put it in the putrid category 
So, next up, we have the Dome Era of Megacraft. This was February 2016 through March 2016. This is when I finally decided to, you know, fucking email the host, Exodus, to get the server back up after Liam uh, bombarded it. So, I got it up. The most I remember about the Dome Era, in fact, the most we really did, was its namesake, the spawn, was a giant quartz dome uh, that was world edited in. Besides that, we did nothing. Um, there, there wasn't much of anything that happened in the dome era. Um, all I remember is playing hide and seek in a big house with uh, Cole and Alan and a few other people. Um, but that that's pretty much it. Nothing much happened in the dome era. Uh, but, you know, it was mildly interesting, because again, first, uh, first resurgence after the big crash. So next up, we have one of my favorite eras. We have the Factions era, or as I used to call it, the Mine City era, but I think Factions era is a better name. Oh boy, a lot went down here. Alan and I became enemies, Vicente joined, my closest friend I have today. Uh, we got Mine City for the first time, which any longtime fans or friends of mine would know. Um, f obviously, factions were a thing. Factions didn't go too well. Okay, let me put it this way. It went well, and it didn't go well. Well, It went well in the fact that the plugin itself was a success, and like we actually had a heated war over it. When I say it didn't go well... I'm also referring to the fact that we had a heated war over it, because that was the stupidest fucking thing we had. But it was great, you know? Back in the good old days of the Masters and the Mixel Murderers. All around, great era. Um, I'm putting it out amazing, because Factions is amazing. And now we have the Prime era. Now, this. This era and the next era is going to be the contender for the best era in Megacraft history. The Prime Era was a great era. It was, for the longest time, my personal favorite. We had the most players ever at one point on the server. We, um, there was so much stuff added. We had a big hub that was a giant tree. We had multiple worlds that they were all successful. We had Slime Fun. That plugin was amazing. We had Hardcore. And as I said, that was when the server was at its prime, hence the name. However, looking back, I was kind of a narcissistic, uh, bossy prick, even to my friends back then. And I don't really like that. I don't like that I was that kind of person that I valued my digital servers so much over actual people. And so because of that, looking back, I'm gonna have to only put that in amazing. Originally, it was going to be the best era in Megacraft history, but I had to bump it down to amazing. Now, after the Prime Era, in around September 2016, lasted through all, all the way through February 2017, making it the longest era in Megacraft history, we have the Anarchy Era. Yep. The Anarchy Era is without a doubt, now that I've gotten over the Prime Era, the best era in Megacraft history confirmed. It was either Anarchy or Prime. In the end I went with Anarchy because I told you why I didn't go with Prime. But a brief synopsis of the Anarchy Era was, it wasn't true Anarchy, I didn't allow hacking and all that, but it was basically free-for-all survival. You spawn in a ruined area, you go out and you did whatever the hell you want. There were, there were like legitimate fights and battles, there was alliances, there were betrayals, a lot of shit went down in the Anarchy Era, and there was so much stuff built and so much stuff destroyed. It was amazing. Definitely the best era in Megacraft history. And now we kind of get into the Dark Ages here a bit. Now, I don't have any uh, actual screenshots of this era. So I'm using this one of Vicente from a couple years back.
but we have the mini games era. Basically, due to a, due to a world breaking glitch, I had to delete the Anarchy era. And for whatever reason, I decided to try mini games at this time. This was like March 2017. And for whatever reason, I thought it would be a good idea. It wasn't. Is again 512 megabyte server. I wasn't that skilled of a coder. I didn't know how to use plugins properly. Mini games didn't work. Um, very very forgettable. And again, we only had one mini game on a server where I wanted like at least a dozen or so. So because I was extreme in that and the entire thing just failed. And this was without a doubt. Oh, right. oh no, Origin era was shortest, but this is the second shortest era in MegaCraft history. Um, yeah, it's wor wait wrong one. Shit, it's worse than Quest to Save the World. I'm sorry, but the mini games there was just so bad. Not so bad that words physically couldn't describe it. No, no, we're we're saving something special for that. But this was worse than Quest to Save the World. Now we have the Tunnel Era. The, now the Tunnel Era was kind of a second attempt at pure survival, um, kind of like the Anarchy, although I had been watching a YouTuber known as FitMC, who has uh, recently gotten popular again, so congrats to him. And he was in the middle of a series where he was uh, digging to the world border on a server he played on, so I thought it would be a great idea to copy him. Um, so I decided to go to the nether and literally stream myself digging. Again, digging about maybe, how many blocks was it? Mm, I think it was like maybe around the lines of a million in the nether. And if you know Minecraft physics, one block in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld. So by digging through the nether, it would uh, statistically reach the world border faster than the uh, overworld. But even so, it would take weeks. And it was boring, and I just gave up. And that was the entire highlight of the tunnel era. That's why I called it the tunnel era, because all I did was dig a fucking tunnel. So... Do I... Hmm... Yeah... The tunnel era was so bad that words physically couldn't describe it. I tried my best to describe it with words, but the only word that can describe it is tunnel. Because that's all I did. It was a fucking tunnel, and I think I only got a hundred thousand blocks in out of a million. And then I just gave up. So, next up we have the drama era, which was summer of 2017, one of the last eras in actual Megacraft history. Uh, this was like a rise from the Dark Ages, like this tunnel era was like deep Dark Ages, but this was more like the Renaissance. Uh, a good place to end Megacraft history, I'd say, or at least for a while. Um, but... A lot happened, not a lot happened, but some few major things happened during the drama era. I truly bonded and became friends with people who I was leery on before. I also made that infam infamous game night stream where I got banned. And I tried to like put in temples that I had during the uh, prime era. Some worked, some didn't, but all around, there were no real wars. We were all pretty friendly to each other then. So. I'm gonna, not, not amazing, but mildly interesting, the drama era was. And lastly, on my actual server of Megacraft, we have, I haven't really included this as an official era until now, but I'm calling this the Diamond Block era. This was about a month-long resurgence in late fall 2017 slash early winter 2018, where I uh, revived Megacraft for at least a little bit, just to see how it would go. Uh, nothing much happened, but the reason I called it the Diamond Block Era is because Noah and I were in a 
call one day, and I decided it would be absolutely hilarious if I cheated in 64 diamond blocks and just told no one, except Noah. So we did, we split the diamond blocks, and yeah, we pretty much dominated the server. Uh, that was, that was, that was good times, but besides that, I built like a little castle thing, uh, and that's pretty much it. So, I'm gonna put this in not very good, simply because I cheated in 64 diamond blocks. Mostly as a joke, but it was a funny joke. Um, and lastly, we have what I'm currently doing, Game Night 2K. Now, Game Night 2K... Uh, is the new Game Night server, because the old one shut down about a half year ago. And I love it. It is deadass amazing. Um, I really, really like how they went for a similar feel to the first Game Night World, like I joined back in 2015. I mean, not the first first Game Night World, but the Game Night World that I joined in in 2015, it really has that sort of feel to it and I was able to build up my reputation make a name for myself kind of like I did back then and I'm still actively playing on it to this day and honestly had this server not existed I probably would have stopped playing Minecraft again because you know I didn't feel like reviving Megacraft once again because no one really played on it anymore, but thankfully, we have this. So, I'm going to put this in the Amazing tier. And that does it with the tier list. Um, you could agree with my choices, you could disagree. I don't know, I don't really care. This was just my own opinion, so yeah. This is going to be in the end of this video. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Follow my socials. And yeah, happy, uh, happy four years to Megacraft, and if a little challenge I'm doing decides to uh, come through, I may or may not revive it one last time just for a specific video. You'll see. Depends. Stay tuned.